Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen, and most of all, our beloved veterans. It's with a deep sense of gratitude, honor, and respect that I come to you this morning to just emphasize the importance of connecting our veterans with community agencies and giving back to our veterans just a small portion of what they have given to us and our nation. As a current licensed counselor who works specifically with combat veterans, I sincerely express our need as civilians to effectively assist with connecting and maximizing the community resources that our veterans such that they can adequately readjust to civilian life. It is the least that we owe them it is our responsibility and our duty for what they have done for us. Effectively referring and enhancing quality resource services, such as the veterans that we have actually come to know and respect for the work that they do, we want to renew our commitment and we want them to know that it's important for them to continue a very important relationship with their family, with their friends, and other community entities such as their employers, their schools, their churches, and other community relations that is very, very important. I thank your tech for this opportunity for our veterans, and I again thank our veterans for the faithful service that they have provided and I respectfully request that our entire community join with York Technical College as well as the Columbia Veterans Center with making sure that our veterans readjust to civilian life. Thank you again, and we pray that you will continue to support York Tech in this endeavor. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of our chairman, Dr. Britt Blackwell, and our other council members, uh, we do want to thank everyone here at York Tech Medical College um, for offering these specific services to our veterans. And speaking on behalf of an alumni of York Tech, uh, myself and Ms. Uh, Tilman now um, attended York Tech back in 1992. I know I don't look as old as that, but <laughs> I was here in 1992 before uh, moving on to Winthrop and now serving on the county council. And I do want to thank Dr. Rutherford. Uh, I've enjoyed the pleasure of uh, speaking with him on numerous occasions. He, and he's told me several times he wanted to get me back on campus um, and, and, and utilize me in some shape, form, or fashion. And uh, I'm pleased to say that he's definitely uh, uh, invited me back along with Ms. Tillman to, to be here with you all today. Um, certainly, offering veteran services back to the community is, is a intricate part of what makes York County and York Technical College uh, a great place to work, a great place to live, and also study. Um, we all know that veterans are coming back home every day now, and certainly we want to make sure that, that York Tech and York County does its part of making sure that those veterans can have opportunity to transition back into the workforce. Uh, too many times we, we see cases where uh, veterans are coming home and, and unable to get informed, and York Tech has taken on the challenge to to curb that unemployment rate for veterans, uh, making sure that uh, special services are offered to, to nurture those uh, servicemen and women who are in need of some of that special, special care that only servicemen and women need. And, and we certainly are appreciative of the service that they've given to us over the years uh, so that we can uh, enjoy the, the multi-freedoms that we do have. And certainly a letter was sent to uh, President Obama and his office uh, notifying his administration of the services that are going to be offered here and he sent a, a signed copy of one of his photographs to, to Ms. Tillman and, and her staff, um, certainly on board with the, the idea of, of supporting the veterans in the community. Um, certainly following the, the mission statement, building our community through maximizing our student success, this is going to play a major part in York Tech. So we want to commend York Tech and its staff for being a progressive thinker and recognizing that we are bringing home men and women each and every day and that they are 
welcome back. We want to make sure that they get back in the workforce and certainly retooling their the educational skills here at York Technical College will, will definitely uh, help propel them back into the workforce so they can sustain a living, uh, support their families, and contribute um, to our community. Uh, once again, I do want to thank everyone for coming out. And I want to thank uh, Ms. Tilden and Dr. Rutherford for, for offering me this opportunity. Um, I, I was here just the other week, and I was telling my wife I had just um, seen Dr. Rutherford maybe two days before, and, and we were just reflecting on my time here at York Technical College. Um, and I can think back there were, were not uh, as many services that are being offered today as it was um, in 1992. So York Tech is, is always on the cutting edge of, of thinking outside the box, and this is definitely um, a feather in the cap for the staff, its alumni, and its students that York Tech is always thinking ahead. And that's what we need um, in this, this community nowadays, people that can think outside the box and look forward to, to what the future has. Uh, again, I do want to thank everyone for coming out, and, and once again, thank the staff for including me in this in this uh, presentation and ceremony. And I too get choked up anytime I see uh, servicemen and women in uniform. And you hear those bagpipes playing. You see that flag standing up there, and you you, you can't help but wonder where would we be without these men and women uh, contributing to to our country. So once again, I want to say thank you to all the veterans that that have given their time and their service, and I look forward to to catering to them in a special way. For so that they can be back in the community and contribute. Thank you. All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Staff Sergeant Sands, um, the local recruiter here in York County, and as well as for the 178 engineers in Rock Hill. As you guys know, uh, the 178 engineers in Rock Hill are currently deployed. So I'm definitely thankful for your technical college for allowing this opportunity especially for a lot of the kids that I recruited to come back and transition from military to civilian to you know, college. Um, just wanted to, you know, again, thank York Tech for the opportunity, uh, as well as being the uh, point of contact for York Tech College, I'm going to be the military liaison. Um, so I'll be working with the community to help uh, these soldiers get back, roll back in school and jobs, and et cetera, stuff like that. Um, but that's all I have. Thank you, for, um, for everybody, for coming. Thank you for your support. It does mean a lot to all our veterans. Um, have a great day. Hey, my name is uh, Joe Biggs. Uh, my mom, probably my other cat, uh, she's been texting me for the past three minutes, telling me not to mess this up. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really, I'm good at writing, but not really good at reading in front of people, so this is uh, going to be a first. Bodies fill the fields I see, hungry heroes end. No one to play soldier now, no one to pretend. Running blind for killing fields, ready to kill them all. Victim of what said should be, a servant till I fall. Soldier boy made of clay, now an empty shell. Twenty-one only son, but he served as well. Bread to kill, not to care, do just as we say. Finished here, greeting death, he's yours to take away. Barking up machine gun fire is nothing to me now. Sounding of the clock that ticks, get used to it somehow. More man, more stripes you bear, glory secret trims. Bodies fill the fields I see, the slaughter never ends. Left to die with only friend, alone I clench my gun. Finished here, greeting death, he's yours to take away. All right. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Trisha Hovis, and I'm the uh, Department Chair for Criminal Justice here in Human Services at York Technical College. And I too feel extremely humbled and not worthy to be here, and too I, I declare the tears after I saw the POW flag. Um, I am a military spouse and a military brat, so there have been a few restless nights of uh, tears and wondering what would happen out on the different missions and deployments and uh, different, uh, different ways that my husband served the United States Air Force and my dad served the Air Force. So, um, But I thought today, why would you want to hear closing remarks from me? What do I have to possibly say? So I was um, uh, fortunate enough to interview some of the veterans who will be taking advantage of the services that we'll be offering here. So I'll read to you what they have to say. Um, and I have representation from all the different services. One says it feels pretty good not have to drive all the way to Columbia 
to have a place to go to see some military recognition. And one uh, soldier said, I didn't know that this existed, but it means a whole lot to me seeing these guys in uniform. I was in Vietnam, first call, each and every day of my life. I live in the Marine Corps. Oh, I wonder if you can figure out who said that. <laughs> um, a nice way to get around and meet people. This is a nice way for me to find other faces and make new friends. I wouldn't have known about this, but I know now I'm going to come back to the session center today and make some new friends. It's easy access for computers, and that's right, we're very lucky here at North Technical College to have support and provide our veterans with the use of computers in addition to maybe some just some comforting and relaxing moments together. Especially not a lot of waiting, so I find that very helpful. It's a great honor, a great recognition. We never got recognized when I came back. Taking better care of our troops, we get to see good things happen for the kids. And finally, we are acknowledging what veterans did for us to keep us free. So as a military wife and a, a faculty member here at York Technical College, I feel this is my home. I really do feel that way. And I want you to feel like this is your home too. Okay? Thank you. Enjoy.